Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of What a Horse. Got Jerry Williams with me. We're still yep. cooking, ain't we? That's right. You well, exactly right. They had two good shows this weekend. One was in Alabama Friday and Saturday, and then Crossville. Uh, it was a shame. We went to the one in Alabama and got back, and then I got a call from CJ, and he said, I hate to tell you, you're setting down. I said, what? And he said, the chip was great. You know, they'll get corrupted if you use yes. them after you use them so long, but and there really wasn't any warning. It just, uh, the video was corrupted. So uh, I didn't know what I was going to do, so I called my buddy Bob Roach. <laughs> he, he bailed me out. Yeah. I said, Bob, I need help. And he said, what do you need? So he took care of us. So but, uh, we, we got video of your boy. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, he did a good job of showing yeah, Virginia. Yeah, done a good job. He, he did. Done really I know Virginia job. was awful proud of it. i tell you what, Jerry, we're going to take a pause for our sponsors. We'll be right back with some news and some victory passes and then some, some from the Cumberland County. Can't wait. All right. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety, and KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've got a couple of announcements. The Classic is 16th and 17th. That's this week, Thursday and Friday night in Belfast. SW Beach Showgrounds. This is going to be great. Call Joni Janae, 931-224-3046. Chad Williams will be marking the cards. And I'm gonna, they got two two-year-old classes for Marydale Kilgore. That's going to be that's going to be pretty good. Yeah. Then the next show, we'll skip a week, but we pick right back up on Wednesday because Wednesday, the 28th, we have the Christmas in July, the 28th through the 30th, and they got a first time out two-year-old class, which uh, right now they got $750 in the pot for the winter. That, that's, that's pretty good. That is good. And then that's we go good. into our 4th of July really kicks off. Woodbury. Yeah, big weekend around here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This weekend, these two shows coming up here, Thursday you know, and Friday, will be a real good show. I'm, the place down in, in Huntsville at the A&M, that, that's a fantastic place to have a show. Yes. It really is. They got a good facility. I hated that our video. I mean, that that was upsetting. Yeah. But, I mean, it happens. That, that, I was, you know, we was fortunate that Bob did Cumberland County, but uh, their their inspections and everything down there that was uh, a big deal. We're going to show some of that later, I believe. But uh, 
There is one thing I want everybody to see. This is this is good. Hayden Thompson. He is he's a pistol now. He's he. I've watched him since he was little, and he gets better and better at riding. But he's also uh, agriculture in something over in Huntland, Tennessee, that they had some kind of contest. And we got a little video of what his little speech was. It can't be but 30 seconds okay. long. So it, but it was pretty good. So let's listen to what Hayden has to say. Leadership in agriculture starts with me. When I train and show Tennessee walking horses, I have nothing more than compassion for this animal. Leadership on my part is making sure these animals are treated humanely. In fact, I have never seen a Tennessee walking horse treated inhumanely. I hope my leadership role in the Tennessee walking horse industry can save this century-old tradition. I say, let them go, let them run and walk, let them walk on. I like the way he says that. Let oh, yeah. Go, let them go, run and walk on. He, oh, that's a ready. nice young man right there. He's oh, he always is. always a pleasure to talk to. Oh, well, a lot of our youth now, yeah. they, they love to show. Allie yeah. Joe, Allie mm -hmm. Joe Jacobs. And, and, I mean, it just goes on and on. These kids, they get ready to go to the shows. They, they, they're geared up to go to the shows. Hey, Eli, all of them. I mean, oh, yeah. they, these kids, they just, you watch them, and, and you can't help but support them because they, they really do like it. Well, we have one victory pass for, where we're still showing, and this is Summer Brooks out of Smoky Mountain. Right there she is, the Black Lister. Summer Brooks, you know Dwight. Yes. Dw uh -huh. Hey, Dwight's a good, good dude now. He's a real nice guy. He called me, he said, I need to get her on there. So we got her. You know, Jerry, this weekend, we got the show Thursday night, Friday night in Belfast, which Joni today is yes. doing. And, and that, that's a good one. They, Joni, when she was over the uh, academy classes, we had shows every week. Yes, I mean, I every weekend, yeah. there was something going on with those kids. She has a passion for not only the horse, but the industry. And I'm hoping that the breeders eventually get the academy kicked into high gear. And uh, I would recommend highly that Joni Janae has something to do with it because she was real good at it. Yeah, she is. She but is we, we can talk about that, and, and everybody's got their opinion. Yeah. That is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, we need she, to get more kids involved in this stuff like that. And, and know, she was good at it. Even from, you know, the lead line on up to, you know, the youth classes and yep. stuff like that. I mean, that's where it started off with them kids. Well, without the kids, we have no future. That's right. And, and Joni exactly right. was good at getting the kids involved. Tell you what, let's watch some fun show. These are BPs from the fun show. Right there was Jimmer's Country Girl and Josh Watts for Carol Baxter. You know, that, that little mare right there can get it. Oh, yeah. She can. That's going to be a tough class come celebration yeah, time because there's class. some good ones, real good ones. One of them, one of the mares just sold here recently. I don't know if, if they're offering this one for sale or not, but one of them, one of the other mares sold. But that two-year-old mare in gilding class will be tough. That will be a real tough class, that, especially making a world grand champion. For the mayors this year at the celebration, I mean that's. That, I've been, they've been, been talking these about that, yeah. haven't uh -huh. they? I was thinking they had. So I mean, it'd make these mayors' price range go way up. Well, it'd be good. Yeah. Right there's honor and salute and Kayla Balcom for Carrie DeArmond, four-year-old mayor in Gilding. Well, I tell you, now that young lady right there, she can get it done. She can get it done. She she can Jeanette, ride horse. Jeanette's got her daughter and you got your son. Yes. Uh -huh. And they can get it done. Well, she's got her son and daughter. Yeah. <laughs> we can't leave Tyler out. No. That wouldn't be right. <laughs> Both of them work real hard at it. They, they I'll tell you what, now, 
you go to the barn when that young lady's in there. Yeah. She don't stop and she chew no fat, no that she's doing something. So, yeah. Well she likes her mom. Her mom's always working too and always doing yeah. stuff. She's the backbone of that business. Quite an honor and John Allen Calloway from Beth Beasley. Tell you what, this, this mare may have been reserved, but she's a winner in my yes. book because that mare can get it done. As Beth says, she doesn't know exactly what it is, but there's something special about that mare. And she's right, there is. That mare you'll see for a long time in show. Right here is Zorro Jr. That's another that four-year-old. I mean, our four-year-old people, they can point to any they want to. The fact is, we ain't seen them all yet. No. We've seen some good ones, but there's still some more out there. That four-year-old class would be a hot class. Uh, Can't gonna, wait to see it. There's gonna be surprises when all of them show up. Yeah. Here's Gigi's Majestic. This horse always good. Yeah. Jordan does a good job, but I believe the young lady does a little bit better. <laughs> You know, Jerry, as the, self, as the fun show went on, I don't know if you noticed or not, but the stands kept getting fuller Full and fuller each night. Right. Mm -hmm. Every night. I'm thinking this year's celebration really going to be something. I think so. Yeah. But there's a ticket to ride, my ticket to ride and race you, mate, Tyser, which is about to be married. Yeah. Five-year-old Marion Gildon winner. Now, she can flat ride. Oh yeah, that's a real nice horse. Real nice. Really like she mowed in that saddle. Oh yeah. She's, she's got that Billy Gray in her. Yes. Right here is one that, I, you, you know, I, like, I kept trying to figure out who it was on this horse. Cause I, and, and I couldn't see real good because I didn't, I was up on top. But I knew, I knew who it was, but I didn't know who it was. And then they called her name. I said, my God, I, I just never seen Kayla on a horse. I yeah. never had. But now she can flat ride now. She oh, sets a good seat, mm -hmm. does a good job. Now, her and Ben are two good ones, too. She told me, she said, every now and then she'd show at the celebration. You just decided to show earlier this year. Yeah, okay. Right here is Harley Quinn and Beth Collins. Beth needs to watch her knife. She's got a, a knife that she used while she was in the military that she's dropped it twice and cut herself both times. <laughs> she took, she won this blue ribbon and she went home, hauled hay. Then cut herself and she said, at least the hay's in. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Worried about that hay, you try to get that hay in. Oh, the horse there got a lot of walking shake to him, a lot of motion. Oh, yeah. Right here is one that's Been good my for favorite a very from long the, time. Hey, from the first time I ever saw this horse, I just, I love the way he went. Bruce does a super job of showing him. Robin did real good showing yeah. him. 
that horse can, I mean, he's just, he's just one of those special, those special horses. Classic horse, Mr. Heisman. A horse like that make you look like you know what you're doing when you ride it. Oh, yeah. Well, Bruce is a good rider. Yeah. Here's Country Pleasure Youth. This was a big fan favorite, this young lady. She doesn't care. She just wants you to put a saddle on her. She's ready to go now. First night out, and Ali Joe Jacobs riding for Brad Gregory. But uh, she wants to ride as much. Her daddy had to go get her a, a little old pony that she could ride around the farm. She loves to ride. I'm watching this past weekend here at Crossroad. I mean, she, every time you look at she got a big grin on her face, and she she's right there at that gate watching them horses go, go around there, too. She studies. She studies. She studies what's going on. She keeps her. It, it just, some kids are like that, and, and you try to explain it, but these kids explain it better yeah. than anything. They, they can show you. Here's me and Pocahontas and Tyler Malcolm for Allison Armstrong. We have got some great mares, yeah. and this is one of them. I tell you, this celebration gonna be a gonna be a big one. Oh yeah, I believe, so. I, I believe it's feeling. gonna be huge. <laughs> we, we'll All have a lot horses. of horses. I, I'd love to see a bunch more horses enter, yeah. and I believe we will, cause from both DQP outfits that I deal with, Curtis Pittman and the show, yeah. both of them are talking about how great the horses are looking that the trainers are, are producing, yeah. uh, bringing up and presenting. Here's your reserve, 12 to 17. Super Bowl MVP. When this one's reserved, you know it must have been loaded. That's right. Right there, I'm Sky Black and Kayla Balkum. I watched Allison show this horse. And uh of course, she was in there with Epic. Yeah. But I had her a solid second. Yeah. And I really did. She looked great in there. Now, Kayla, Kayla can just flat ride. Oh, yeah. But now, don't you look there. Epic's, and to me, is in a class by itself. Yeah. But there is a lot of real good Show pleasure horses. Oh, yeah, it is. Here's your part performance. Right here, I am, you know. I had it between that one and the gray. Yeah. That's a good little horse right there. I'm telling you now, Jake liked the horses too now. I watched him at them shows. He's right there <laughs> every step of the way watching them horses too. So I see where Allie Joe gets it from. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, he's got, mom, he's, got you know, the, he's got the interest in it. No doubt about it. She's but the big mom talking about showing. Yeah, she's a big cheerleader now. She's no. right there watching them. But there's one thing about it. That family is there at a horse show. Oh, yeah. Right here is Magic Line and Carrie DeArmond. I'm going to tell you, I thought Carrie was outstanding. Man. Yeah. I was over there, a couple of us was talking, and both of us won. The guy I was talking to said that he thought this one was going to get it. I thought you know it was going to yeah, get uh -huh. it. They looked great. Both of them did. Dark Rain and Taylor Walters from Molly Walters. Amateur pony winner.
ain't nothing like a good walking pony. That's a fact. I remember years and years ago, Mike's Mighty Delight, yeah. a walking machine. Park Rain. I know Molly was tickled with this. Yeah. So was Taylor. I mean, Taylor's worked hard. Here is Dixie Road and Link Webb for Joe Barnes, and I'm here to tell you, that one right there is open specialty winner. Gets it done. Put a canner on him. He's got that old time. Lee's dad used to put a oh, flat yeah. walk on one Sunday. I mean, you took to the champagne glass on it. That's a nice, real nice horse. Oh, yeah. I know Joe's proud of you. Yeah. Well, I mean, that right there just smooth. If you ain't going to get no smoother. More time, you're just not going to do it. Right there is my Maserati Al Alfria. Park pleasure winner, and Chris is on for Karen Bean. Karen's got a good string of horses. Yeah, she do. Real good story. horses. Chris yeah. training several of them. Oh, yeah. He ain't raised a bunch of good horses too. Yep. Cavender and Knox Blackburn. It's just one of Bruce's three-year-olds. Oh yeah. But that horse right there, he start, he won the class when he come through the gate. And he never backed up. Knox has got a chance at winning A and B. Yeah. Or A and C or B and C and if they got a D you might throw that in there too. Because <laughs> we got a bunch of good three year olds, a bunch of good two yeah. year olds. There's a bunch of good horses at that period. Oh, there he is. And every division. There's the Haas and Ali Joe Jacobs. I like the name of that. Da Haas. Pony division here. Yeah. Right, here's a sky coach and Jeremy. G, how does he pronounce Jones it? Song. Jones Song. Jones uh -huh. Song. Yeah. That's a real nice horse. Oh, yeah. I know Leanne's proud of it. Yes. Our son shows that horse, too, and yes. does a great yes. job. Yes. Matter of fact, job. he won this weekend yeah. up across uh -huh. the That horse is 17 hands with the flat shoes on right there. Oh, Lord. He's a big horse. He's a big animal. Well, he can get it done. Yeah. And here's Joe Pa, Winky Groover for Strickland and Porterfield. Thank <laughs> you. 
That'll be another tough class. Oh, yeah. That's going to be tough this year. I talked to Shane. He was tickled with this victory, but yeah. he knows it's like everybody else. That state class, it's tight. It's going to be tight every time you go out yeah. there. You just don't know. I tell you, they'll get it done. That's the main thing. Yeah. We'll we'll have horse shows. Oh that's yeah, what that's want. right. Tell you what, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors. We'll be right back with some Columbia victory passes. <laughs> Again to win started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaze Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old grand championship, and then Jen would go on to win world championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With world and world grand championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen to win is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once and delivered to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. Y'all hear that? Everybody, when you go to Winter Circle, tell them what a horse sent you. We're trying to get them to give us a bunch of uh, grooming kits for horse play show. Yes. They always do it anyway. <laughs> but but it, it won't help for people to say, hey, we heard it on Water Horse. <laughs> we need a plug, too. Ma'am, in Columbia on the first Here's Columbia. Here's Columbia. Here's Columbia. Polly Gray and Tanner Burks, formerly owned by Shane Porterfield. Now Tim Brown owns a mare. Two-year-old Mary Gildan winner. And this is the other one that I was telling you about now. Oh yeah. This is but this is just two we've seen. There's more. That's what makes it so great. We've got some great ones out there. Matter of fact, you got a pretty good one over there for next year. Yeah. You look good in the card anyway, doesn't you? Yeah, she's doing pretty good. I'm so happy for Tim Brown and buying that horse. Oh, yeah. 
Right here is Manning and Taylor Watt. I tell you what, Manning looked great. Yeah. That amateur Marion Gilding class, that horse doing that to celebration, they better back up and take a look. Cause he he was plum. Well, he was great. No doubt about it, he was great. You know, I want to take my hat off to a lot of them trainers out there that work these horses during the week to get them ready for the weekend for these amateurs to ride. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am Luther James. That's one of your buddies, Jerome, eh? Yeah. That's, a, that's Chain Porterfield. Yeah. Jaron, he, he liked them horses. He liked them coats now. That's something to live, eat, and sleep messing with them yearlings. But his dad did it for a long time. Well, I tell you what, that, that's a special talent. Yeah, he is. He's good at it. Uh, he's, he can make them really shine out. No, well, he's got that one looking awful good. I know Shane said, <laughs> Shane, Shane said, yeah, that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he didn't hesitate. He jumped at it. Yeah, that's mine. Jesse, Jaron, little Jesse mm -hmm. is a family deal. Here's Georgia, Florida line and Knox Blackburn for Bruce McDonald. I'll tell you what, I don't know where they're gonna show that horse in the uh, open competition or the amateur competition. It'd be, I'd like to see that one in uh, epic tie up. Yeah. But then you've got to look at them others in there too. Oh yeah. That, that, that sky black ain't no slouch. <laughs> they say what they want to, but this one right here, that Georgia. show pleasure class, any, the open, amateur, oh, it ain't no slack class in either one of them. They have some good ones in every one of them. Well, I know that Bruce has done a great job showing this horse. So is Knox. Yeah. Main thing, I'm just tickled to see Knox back in the ring. Yep, me too. Now I am, because it, 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 you, you get used to seeing people and then you don't. Here's Cole Hahn and Ali Joe Jacobs. Your youth lemon underwear. You talking about made for it? Oh yeah. I honestly believe God made that horse for Ali Joe Jacobs. He, he's huge too. He's not a small horse. Oh, no, he's a big horse. But he does exactly what she wants. That's something special right there. That's Mr. Brantley out there. Lemon Underwinter, Cole Hahn, and Ali Joe Jacobs. I think he's at Leatherwood. That was at Leatherwood, ain't he? Trained yeah. at Leatherwood trains him? Yeah. yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right here's Ferrari 308 and Dahlia Smith Hart for owner Kenny Smith. Now, Kenny had a wreck that morning. Yeah, mm -hmm. or he was supposed to show, I believe. But uh, Robbie said that this guy hit him head on, said didn't, I mean, they just banged him up, bruised him up. Yeah. It wasn't too long before the show started because we was heading to the horse show. We seen all the cops yeah. and everything down there by yeah, Robbie's well, place. He was fixing to pull in at Robbie's yeah. when that guy was in the middle lane. But did he, uh... Things happen, though, boy, but that, yeah. that out there, that's a heck of a play. She's Limitless and Molly Walters for Kelsey Andrews, amateur ladies, Marion Gildin winner. That's a great man. Now, there is a limitless foal out there. They've done the embryo transplants. Mm. I think it's limitless and genomite, I believe, is the cross. And if it is, there's gonna be something good. <laughs> Back up, here it comes. 
your boy's ears. Back in through his front ears. Through his ears there. Just it's got everything it takes. Yeah. Right here, epic. That's enough said. Amateur show pleasure. Once they put that horse in that amateur show, or show pleasure, really, yeah. that, that was it. That was just clued it up. You know, you'd be surprised how many horses, they're great horses, but they don't really like the tail brace, but then they got a great tail because the tail was cut so good yeah. to begin with. Now they ain't, right there, most people would never notice that horse doesn't have a tail set on. Yeah. And I tell you, Megan can ride. Yes. Being married ain't bother her one bit. Nope. She, she's still a good jockey. And here it is, Born a Maverick and Bob Adcock. This is one that gets your attention coming in and going out. Won this class last year as a two-year-old. This year he comes back, gets it again. I told Bob, I said, Bob, we just got through running victory pass on both them horses. Both of them won last year. I like this horse here so much because you see a difference between when he was two-year-old and to where he's going oh, yeah. I mean, he, he's, he's locked improved. in. He's, locked, he's improved a lot. And consistent. Yeah. There's a bunch of good ones out there, but they're not as consistent yeah. as this. No. This is consistent. And right there, Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis. I got an email from Kim this morning talking about this. Said that they really liked what Dan had done with him since yeah. he put him on them part performance shoes. Man, he does look good. Dan's doing a good job. Oh, Dan's doing a real good job. You know, he worked with a master for years. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and here's a kingpin. Now, this was the other yeah. one. This was your 15, 2 and under. But now. I'll say the same thing about him. You know, I don't know, but that horse right there might measure pony. Yeah, he might. He's very close to it. Well, I'll tell you what, he's, he's a good one. Bob just enjoys showing. Yeah. He emailed me about his, his victory passes, that he really liked them. All of these are up on YouTube right now, so you can go up there and watch a lot of good videos. Right there's Mr. True Blue and R.M. Kelly for the Jacobs family, your four-year-old stallion, canner winner. This is another gonna make up four-year-old class type. Yes, he is. I tell you what, there's a bunch. And if you watch every one of them that we've seen out there so far, Jerry, you can see a difference in them. Oh, yeah. But all of them in their way are just fantastic horses. Yeah. And Mr. True Blue is something else. And, and I can go down the line. Each one of them has their special tributes. And here is I Am Big Enough and Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley. I thought she did a great job of showing yeah. that horse. She did do a really good job. Both them girls ride real well, real well. Yeah. One of them's a little bit more aggressive than the other one, but both of them ride very well. BB, BB's a little aggressive now. She, she wants to go get it. I believe it's BB. 
If it ain't, I'll hear about it. <laughs> Well, you know, different horses, you got to have aggressive rider and not aggressive rider. Brain power and Jake Jacobs for Ali Joe Jacobs. I tell you what, that he's going to be hard to beat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, he horse. is. He's going to be hard to beat. That's a nice horse right there. That horse right there has real good nights, and then he has better nights. Yeah. I've not seen him have a bad night. I know he went to barn where he was at. Young lady come over to ride one of mine. And uh, she said, well, let me ride something real good. <laughs> it wasn't mine. They brought that one out. Because, uh -huh. uh, I mean, he's consistent. He's going to put on a good show every time out of the barn. And that's what it takes. But now he, he's going to be, he's going to oh, be yeah. there. Mm -hmm. What else we got? Oh yeah, we got some something good now. Cause, like you said, I went to uh, Huntsville, and uh, CJ was videoing the classes. Yeah, I was videoing inspections cause the government was there, and uh, not that they got out of hand because they didn't. Uh, they were they were thorough and they didn't inspect a lot, but uh, you're gonna see right here. She's got on those gloves and we both know that those gloves. She's looking for a scar roof. She's not palpating. Yeah. And we both know those scars, those gloves pull pull hair. Pull hair and it will make that horse move, and it kind of pinches them. But uh, she she didn't she now she's inspecting. But uh, the horse passed and wasn't wasn't overbearing is yeah. what I'm getting at. So it, there are times when VMOs and DQPs can work together. Oh yeah. Now I will say this: I believe that they went down there because show and and is in this area and a lot of these horses would go down there but they uh both dqp outfits curtis pittman and show have both told me that our trainers are presenting some well compliant real compliant horses that they look good they're clean most of like the violations that they found in alabama were technical yeah and that that's what peeves you off is when yeah. it's something that if you had paid attention, it wouldn't happen. But uh, what is it? Your pet peeve is if uh, what, you check them after they have a bath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's, That's what right. Gary says. That, that horse better be clean when he goes down there and said, you better not find nothing on that That's horse. That's right. That they should, like, hurt or something. Said, when we give him a bath, he wants to check them. Check them. That's right. You do it with a white glove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure. <laughs> All right, let's go to let's go to some video. I had a knee replacement, so they got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back. And that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of
of What a Horse coming up. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I, I think now we are going to go to Cumberland County. Okay. And watch some videos up there because now they had a good show. They had a real good show. And I want to thank Bob Roach for this video. I do appreciate it. Youth 11 and under class. I tell you what now, this was all right. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna tell you, J.W. Morgan's son was up there and uh, he was reserved on Mr. Rumor Has It. That, that's his wife's horse. Yeah. But it was Coach Cal and Allie Joe took the blue for the Jake Jacobs family and Ali Joe. Mexican Fire was third with Daisy McLeod. But I really like that Mr. Rumor has it because Joanne has won a bunch of glasses oh, yeah. with him. That was a, you know, normally it's the daughter taking horse away from her daddy. Yeah. Or the wife taking horse away from her daddy. This one's the son took the horse away from his mother. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. And there he is. You know, they had a pretty good crowd of people at this show, too. Yeah, yeah. A big crowd. Well, I'm proud of Allie Joe, but I'm also proud of Wyatt. Yeah. And. Daisy, I'm proud of you too, hon. Any of them kids, I'm, I really enjoy watching them well, show. Wyatt done lost his hat. Yeah. Had been my mother, she'd been screaming, don't let that hat in the mud. <laughs> there she is. I'm Coach Cal and Allie Joe Jacobs, your lemon underwinner. Let's see this. She she's shown that horse in the 17 and under, lemon under. Yeah. She just wants to show. Good job, Allie Joe. Right here's three-year-old Marin Gildan. Right here was a good class, yes, a real good class. class. I tell you, Robert Dorch's horse was in there, the kid can do. Uh-huh. He won the class with Tyler Balkum. Yeah. My tan query, tan, I cannot pronounce that word. Link Webb and for Lucky Collins. Let's cha cha, Dan Waddell from Meadows and Myers. Mr. Picasso, Alex Denny, and Jose's Rosie Pistol, Scott Beatty finished out the ribbon. But it was Kid Can Do. He's getting him ready for Robert. I know yeah. what he's doing. He's saying, now, Robert, we can, <laughs> he's a winner. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll tell you what that kid can do is a good horse. Oh, he is a good horse. I've never seen Robert not have one that was good. Right here is show pleasure class. Now, this was your amateurs, but it was won by Heidi Mott by Escape Beast. That's yeah. her third third victory this year. Yeah. That final good. call, Wanda Goodson, that's a good horse. Uh-huh. He's Bear Bryant, living legend. Yeah. Jessica Rowland, a bold American, Christy Barnes, and pushing for parole, Dakota Hodgkins. Hodge, Hodge, son. This is, that was another good class. 
Well, they averaged three or four horses a class. Oh yeah. So, I mean, mm -hmm. they they had pretty good, pretty good show. That escapee horse is another good show pleasure horse yes. too. He's another he real good one. I did does a good job of riding him too. Yeah. There she is. Yep. And here's a East Tennessee walking horse members only. John Gruden and Ray Carr took the blue in this one for the Ray Carr family. And Cassius' second chance was reserved Leanne Harrison. This is a real good class here. Leanne does a good job. Ray. He works hard at it now. Yeah. Raises. Well, Leanne sets a good seat, so yeah. does Ray. Mm -hmm. As long as we get it done, that's all that matters. Oh, yeah. Right there he is, John yeah. Gruden, Ray Carr. That always has, that always has been a nice horse for, for a good while. It's a nice horse, really. Yeah. Ray getting a bunch of pretty good horses over there. My brother trains for him over there. Yeah. That's why I talked to him quite a bit on the yeah. phone the other day. He was talking about what all was going on, how everything was going. And yeah. So, seemed like a real nice fella. He is. Brother Vengeance and Jeremy Jensong, right? Yeah. All right for Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. He I, did do a job. Yeah. Hey, he did a great job that's, now. That's another nice horse. Miss Virginia, she got some nice horses. I tell you what, Virginia has some real good horses. Yeah. She doesn't, she, she's like a lot of our owners. Sometimes she doesn't get her just due, yeah. but she's there. This was a 15 to an underclass. Yeah. Well. This class here was a, a nice class. Right there. Yeah, she was uh, reserving the class. Yeah, she was reserving the class, uh huh. That's a nice horse right there. Yep. Sure is. Park Performance Specialty. Yeah. So Hayes right there. Yeah. Yes. Hayes won that class. I mean, he did a good job now. So proud for Hayes. I mean, he works at it. He likes it. He likes them horse shows. I was Robert Dorch was on a nice horse too. Robert's always gonna ride a good horse. Now, that you can bet.
your five-year-old amateur specialty. Ray Carr was reserved in this class on, on that I'm Black Gin. That's a nice horse, too. Yeah, he's he's getting the hang of that horse. He's He was telling me the other day that he, you know. Well, that's what he told me. He said that he would, that, that horse was getting better and said he was awful proud of him. Yeah. Said that he, he as time went on, said he's going to get better and better. And yeah, that's a nice horse. I think that's only the second time he ever rode that horse. Ever yeah, showed that right. horse, yeah. Mm -hmm. That horse comes from. Well, he did a good job now. Yeah. Well, he's doing a good job. But no slouch about it. Jake Jacobs yeah. was in this class. Uh -huh. He was reserved. That's that new three-year-old he's got now. Yeah. That's a good horse too. That is a good horse. So it that show total show was yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's been pretty good horses, you know. And that's uh, they uh, seem to be no violations up there to speak of. So, and my what I was going to say a while ago about the the USDA when they come in and they judge or they inspect according to the way. They need to take the pat on the back because yeah. they've got us where we are. That's right. You are exactly gonna, right. I'm going to end the show on that note. How's that? <laughs> because it, it's a fact that people are presenting good horses yeah. and uh, ready to go. So we will see y'all next week with another episode of What a Horse. He'll Thank be back. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking. Thank you.